What's up guys, what's going on? Camp Out coming at you with another review. It's like the third time I'm trying to review these kicks. Uh, something keeps coming up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get into it this time. So Extra Butter last night held uh, the event for the second half of the Vanguard pack. If you're familiar with the first or these uh, Wes Anderson films, uh, I forget the name of the first one, uh, Steve Zizou and the, the little submarine. Whatever. Anyway, the the second half is Royal Tenenbaums, which is a movie I'm much more familiar with. Uh, I remember seeing when it first came out in like 01, I believe it was. And uh, it was probably one of my favorite movies for about two or three years. I mean, I can't remember too much about it now, but there are subtle hints and details within the pack of these shoes uh, that are very reminiscent of the movie. I don't know if they're allowed to tie it in or not, but if you know Extra Butter, they're very movie themed and uh, movie inspired when they do their collaboration. So always be on the lookout for some kind of subtle hints of some kind of movie, I don't know, something, when, they're, uh, when their collabs come out. But if you've seen Royal Tenenbaums, both shoes are meant to mirror two of the characters, the two brothers, which are Chaz and Richie Tenenbaum. Uh, Chaz is a more business savvy child uh, growing up, divorces his parents. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I would definitely check it out so you get a more understanding. But as an adult, he wears like this red tracksuit, Adidas tracksuit, and uh, I think he's wearing blue, uh, I forget what shoe he's wearing in the movie. It, it might even be the shoe that they dropped out. I, I can't really remember, but off the top of my head, I know he wears a blue pair of shoes, which is very reminiscent of the other shoe that Extra Butter dropped in the pack. So these are the Wonder Kind, the other is the Scholar. Wonder Kind is based off of, if you read the blog, uh, like a prodigy, which is basically what Richie was, a child prodigy in tennis. And uh, you see the children, and then you see them as adults in the movie. As the adult version of Richie appears, he wears this coat and uh, throughout like the entire movie. And the coat is very similar to this material and this color. So for me, like, I, I, I don't know, I, I didn't pick it because of that, I picked it because I like I've never owned a Stan Smith. I, I don't like them. I, I typically won't wear them because it's all leather and uh, the way it looks on my foot with all leather doesn't look right. So when I saw that this was material, feels like a, it feels like, like a wool pea coat is what it feels like, which is reminiscent of what the jacket is in the movie. But I like the fact that it was a different material on a Stan Smith and I've been looking to buy a Stan Smith. I just, you know, I could have I could have picked up the concepts and they're actually pretty cheap on eBay still. Uh, but I was always weary about it. And since these were so close to home, I was like, let me go try them on. And uh, they actually look really dope. So I picked them up. So obviously you have to make a choice or I had to make a choice. There's a lot of things coming out, especially with the holiday season coming up. Like, so I, obviously I'm not a millionaire. I'm not gonna buy every pair of shoes that come out. And uh, today, if you're on the lookout for mags, there's a lot of like stuff going on about that as well. Uh, to my understanding, they're only gonna do a, like a press release for, possibly dropping them and maybe even it might even be like some ebay raffle thing for parkinson's which is what ale is the ailment that michael j fox has so i mean i, I would definitely be on the lookout for that but uh, enough about that back to the shoe so uh the jacket is richie's uh the shoe is comprised of richie's jacket material uh, i don't know if it's the same material or what but the colorway is definitely uh a direct composite of that which is why I like it so much but once again like I said it's not really why I picked up the shoe I do like the colorway a lot though um, the other character is the adopted sister I believe Margo was her name uh, in her room or like the dance room you see like this zebra print on the walls which is inside the shoe which is like I said the subtle hints that extra butter likes to throw into a shoe like sometimes they'll hit you right away and sometimes like you won't even know what you're looking for I believe the kids had a Dalmatian too if I'm not mistaken at the end of the movie, their dog dies, the beagle, and then the fire truck that comes in when Eli, I think it's Eli, whatever. If you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. A fire truck comes in the end and the kids wind up adopting the, um, the Dalmatian. I don't know if that's where the print comes from or if I'm missing something else, but I'm, I'm sure I'm probably missing something else because very, the extra word is very subtle with those hints. Anyway, the shoe's super comfortable. I did try it on. I did go a uh, full size down. I wear 10 and a half, 11. These are a size 10. Let me grab the box. Off a bit. See that? Try and get the glare off of there too. Size 10, Stan Smith. So, I mean, if you're gonna pick them up online, because I believe they do drop today online, I would definitely make sure I go down at least a half a size if you're not familiar with the Stan Smith. Uh, off the bat, I knew I was gonna have to go down, typically because the material's so thin. It's not like a thicker shoe where there's a lot of insulation inside. So you always have to be weary of that. So, I mean, just a heads up, if you don't know, you do now. Uh, if there's anything else you guys like to see, I'm probably gonna pump out, like I said, that Supreme 5 video later today and definitely Diodorus this weekend. Uh, I think 
I think that uh, ASICS has announced or Concepts has announced that November 7th they'll be dropping a two pack uh, shoe for I believe the NYC grand opening of Concepts. Uh, if you guys aren't aware of that and I just dropped a bomb, I apologize, but that's what I believe is going on. Anyway, is there anything else you guys like to know, like to see, like to see reviewed? Uh, just shoot me something in the comments, throw a thumbs up, whatever you want to do. Get at me. Peace.